Caiu os planos. First time, y'all, ever in this place. I'm so excited. Close that. So Savannah got some kind of Grinch, like, I don't know, projector type thing that she's holding for her room. And look at that, you guys. Or, and then there's this setting, you can like keep it on one, and then it just fades colors. Oh, wow. Interesting. There it goes. Grinch. There we go. You're so silly. And then the fire's still going, y'all. I'm so excited. So yes, you guys, we are fascinated with the fireplace. <laughs> um, yeah, we just turned off all the lights. Yeah. I'm loving it, you guys. Okay, it's much later. It's like... After midnight, the fire's still going. So it's over there. And yeah, so we're just in here. Um, she's actually watching the first episode of True Story with Kevin Hart. I already watched it. It's so good. If you guys have not seen it, go check it out. And we can discuss it when you guys are done. Anyway, so that's it. I'm probably about to fall asleep, but yeah. We're in downtown Lodi. Just decided to come shop out here because the town is smaller and their Hobby Lobby is huge, which I already went to. Didn't vlog in there, but yeah, there's a lot of vintage shops out here. Um, they're kind of pricey, but it's still good to look at. Hey, I ran a few errands and I'm back now. I am about to take the fall decorations down. My living room's kind of a mess right now, but I'm going to straighten it up because we are going to be putting up the Christmas decorations later. Um, Savannah is going, after she gets off work, she is going with the youth. I have my door open, that's why I'm looking. Um, anyway, and I'm just home. Let me show you guys what I got for my fireplace. So, I went to Home Depot and I got these, the fireplace tool kit because I didn't have one. And I'm trying to think if they left me some here when I bought the house. I remember they left firewood, but I don't remember them leaving the pokers and stuff like that. And if they did, I may have given it away because honestly, at the time, I did not have plans to use the fireplace because, I don't know, it just didn't. I knew eventually I would. I didn't think it would take 10 years, but <laughs> yeah, we're using it now. So anyway, and I bought some more firewood right there there's still one or two left in that box and that box right there is just the logs that like help start it so I actually probably should have went by some more because I only have one of those left but it should be okay um, I'll go out and get some more tomorrow or Sunday if I need it but yeah it's gonna be pretty cold tonight so we are going to light the fire again okay I put it over there, it's in the corner, but I just realized I'm going to have to change everything up because I'm putting up my Christmas tree and the Christmas tree actually goes right there. So I need to rearrange everything, which means that because the tree is so has such a big base, I won't be able to keep that there. So yeah, I'm about to take the fall decorations down and yeah get started not too much though because savannah wants me to wait until she gets back tonight but i am at least going to move things out of the way and prepare it so it can all be ready i've already showered and changed and i am down for the night but i'm not going to bed yet i did put up the christmas decorations and it was a little bit different this year because i get it my kids are older and whatever but 
of course, you know, y'all know Tyreek is married. He doesn't live here anymore. And Savannah is actually at the church, at our church with some of the youth. And she wasn't here to put anything up. And then Cheyenne went to have dinner with some of her friends. So it was just me. Yeah, kind of sad, but I get it. They're older now. And Savannah's actually going to be kind of upset with me because she didn't care about decorating the tree because she doesn't do that part anyway. She wanted to do the decorations, but I went ahead and did that because I'm like, I'm not going to wait until she comes back because, you know, who knows how long she's going to take. But let me show you guys. It's so cute. And I've changed up some of my decorations this year. I changed my stockings. We no longer have the, well, my kids no longer have the kiddish stockings and it's a long time coming it was just hard for me to get rid of a lot of things because i've had it when they were younger so yeah let me show you guys my updated christmas stuff It's so cold tonight outside, you guys. And the fire's going. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. And it's kind of early, but I am up. I just went to the gas station and I'm actually about to go to Walmart. Not a Walmart that I normally go to, but I'm going to it. Anyway, I'm like so obsessed with my fireplace right now, you guys. So I need to get the starter logs um, because that's the only way I can successfully <laughs> do the fireplace um, I know I can get kindling and newspaper and stuff like that but to me it's just easier with the starter log that's what I call it like the Duraflame log so I'm out and I'm going to go get some more 
but yeah you guys um so you see we put up our christmas tree and i'm doing something different this year where i did something different so y'all know when i put up my christmas tree every year our tradition is to make eggnog and it's been that way since the kids were little and i've made eggnog every single year and never skipped the beat right so this year i'm like well Tariq is not here even though i know i could save him some Savannah doesn't drink regular milk anymore because she's vegan, so she won't have any at all. Cheyenne will drink it here and there. I'm not. I'm just gonna make a small pot, right? And then I started thinking, I'm like, you know what? That small pot will probably go to waste because I will probably only have once or twice of it, and it'll just sit there. I don't know. So I did make my homemade eggnog this year, which I should have. I'm regretting it now because I actually found almond milk eggnog at Sprouts for Savannah and she said it was okay and I tasted it it was all right but you know that's what she had and then I bought store eggnog right you guys big mistake huge TMI but I was up all night in the bathroom was not good at all yeah never doing that again I just had one small little cup and as I'm drinking it I'm like this is really thick this is really sweet this is disgusting I wish I would have made my homemade eggnog yeah I totally regret it okay I rarely come to this Walmart here because it's just very very weirdly set up I can count the times on one hand that I've been to this Walmart and I know where nothing is so it's kind of like one of those super Walmart they have um, groceries on one side and then you know the other stuff on the other side I literally should have gone somewhere else all right but I'm here oh that's a nice car I need to stop looking at cars got some purple masks from work I prefer the black ones because they match everything, but whatever. I have a purple shirt on. Y'all, so I just threw my clothes on this morning. I grabbed whatever was the clean clothes hamper, and I realized I have on a purple shirt, right? I have on my red Toms. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, let me get in the store. So this is the one that I got, and after I eat breakfast, I am going to clean out in there from last night and get another one started but i'm not mixing this with regular wood i'm just gonna burn just the one door flame and it lasts up to three hours so oh my goodness you guys this feels so good i am sitting in front of the fire it's just me and cheyenne that's home right now savannah actually went to spend a night with one of her friends from church so yeah you guys i'm so obsessed with my fireplace now and why did I take so long to even want to get it properly working? All I had to do was get it cleaned, which I did, and now I'm using it. So, yeah, it just takes me a while to do things. Y'all should already know. Anytime y'all suggest something, I take forever. And then when I finally do it, I'm like, why did I tell you take so long? So, yeah, it feels so warm right here. That's why I'm sitting here. Um, I don't have my heater on. It's freezing outside. It's like so foggy and cold. So I'm just sitting here in front of the fire. Boston was here earlier. I think he went sit in front of Savannah's door because that's just how he does. So yeah, he really has separation anxiety really bad. It's gotten worse. So yeah. All right, y'all, I'm gonna stop talking about this fire because I know y'all have seen it a lot. <laughs> and yeah, it's just a fireplace. No big deal, right? But we're enjoying it. Good morning. It is Monday. I'm taking a break from work right now. But in these next 10 minutes, I'm going to clean out these Christmas these are all my Christmas decorations and these are my fall decorations but I'm going to go through the things that are in here and the things that I don't use anymore or the things that I don't put up anymore and put them away like for example I know this is a mess right here where'd it go oh 
Like, some of the things the kids made me for Christmas that I used to put on the tree that they absolutely hate. But I'm still going to save it because they made it for me. And this is Savannah. Is it focused? Let's see. Yeah, that's Savannah. She made that for me. And let me show you guys. Even though they hate it, these three pictures will remain on the tree forever. That's Cheyenne. That's Tyreek. And that's Savannah. And the, yes, they made it all in the same year. That's the reason why it looks the same. Focus, focus. So anyway, yes, those will always remain on the tree because I just love those. So yeah, but that's all I'm doing right now. And then I will put everything away back out into the garage and clean everything up. I don't know how everything gets so dusty out there when, you know, I don't know, but I'm just gonna clean that up. All right, so right here, I just have a bunch of pictures and ornaments that they made me that I will not put on the tree anymore because I don't know, it just looks so bad now, but they were young, so of course I wanted to put it on the tree. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it away because this is mine and these are memories that I want to save and show their kids. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. So let me tell you the story behind these. It's not that long. But anyway, these were the ornaments that I bought me and Cheyenne's first apartment. After I had Cheyenne, the first apartment that I had when she was younger, I bought these. These are glass bulbs. I don't even think these are cute anymore. These are horrible. I probably won't throw them away. I will give them the goodwill. Maybe someone will like it, but this is, yeah, this is what I had on my tree one year. Horrible, huh? Well, actually I had it on my tree for many years, but now that I look back and I'm like, ugh, that was horrible, horrible and ugly. So I guess I will put this aside to give to goodwill. Someone will like it, I guess, you know, better than throwing it away. I know y'all didn't ask, but I'm showing you guys anyway. So remember the stockings that I used to have on the tree? Well, this was mine. This was Cheyenne, Tyreek's, and Savannah's. So even though they're still good and they're still cute, I mean, come on now, they're <laughs> older. And last year, Cheyenne did not even want me to put these out. But she doesn't have a choice in that because I'm mama and I rule and reign in this house. So I put them up. But this year, and I'm pretty sure I showed you guys, I got new stockings. Let me turn the Christmas lights on. Oh, that's the fan. Okay. So I got new stockings and I got all of these at Hobby Lobby. And when the fire is going, I just take these three and I lay them to the side because, yes, it does get really extremely hot. So that one over there, even though it's not kiddish, that's for Kehlani. That's Tariq's. That's Cheyenne's. This is mine and this is Savannah's. So, yeah, we got new stockings and I actually like them more because they're actually like stockings, especially this one. This is kind of like knitted material so yeah super cute good morning it is tuesday and i'm in the office today as you can see i can't show you guys too much um no i can't show you guys too much i am the only one here right now but i get a call from my manager because remember i told you guys that we are training in a new system this new system is horrible i think i told you guys that before it's not meant for dental or whatever anyway so we have more training today from 8 to 12, and I get a call from my manager as soon as I got here that said, you could do your training at home. Um, thanks, I'm already here. I'll have to talk to you guys about my manager soon. I know I haven't complained about my job or my work, which I don't have any complaints. I actually like what I'm doing. So we got these color flame things. Focus, one second, hold on Savannah. Would you say they don't care? Yeah, I look terrible. Oh, you look terrible, it's okay, you look fine. Color flame packets and Savannah's about to put one in now. I kinda wanna like hold it in my hand. No. So on fire. They said just toss it in and, okay, do it. I kinda want the whole thing to be on fire though. Okay. Just do it. Make sure, let's say, make sure it goes to where the fire is. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness, it went to the back. Mama, what do I do? Well, don't use your fingers. Just push it where the fire is. With the, like with the poker. No, no, that's not going to grab it. Back. That's not going to grab it. It's in the... Mama, it's going to scoop it forward. Okay, I'm just saying that's not going to grab it because okay. it's not that small. It's not like fingers. You should have just took the poker and moved it forward. Now you're going to put it all the way to the back. There we go. Okay. Oh, gosh, Savannah. Blow! Oh my gosh! What happened just now? This is my child, y'all. <laughs> I wish I could say that things like this don't happen often, but this is Savannah. What? I don't see no color changing. It's blue right now. What's blue? The fire? You don't see blue? Come over here. No, I'm right here. It's literally blue. Only in that one area. Mama, it's the whole thing's blue. I don't see blue, y'all. You know the iron can still get hot like all the way where your hands are if you keep it in there too long. Don't you see it turning blue? Well, I see, I see it blue where the packet is. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Oh, Y'all probably tired of hearing and seeing about this dang fire. Okay, I do see the blue flame in like the middle. I see that. Yep, I see it. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, and it's almost 8 o'clock. I'm not clocking in until 8 today. Um, starting the day a little bit later because we have training today. And guess what? We're doing it at home because I know I haven't told you guys anything about my company or whatever because of safety reasons, but I am in dental, and I don't work in the office. I do completely billing, so... I don't have to worry about doctors. I don't have to worry about patients calling, stuff like that. Lighting is, let me turn. Oh, ooh. That's super bright. Anyway, I need to wake up. But, um, what am I saying? So anyway, I work on the dental side of my job, obviously. And, um, we have a training room that we go to for training and it's also for new hires stuff like that so they took out all of the computers in one of the training rooms to bring it in the bigger training room for the new hires so that left us with no place to go yesterday right so my boss told me yesterday and i'm about to complain about my manager not my job just my manager it's always the manager it's never the job never the job anyway my manager had told all of us the day before don't clock in until eight o'clock when you get there because you know right now they're like doing no overtime okay so i know this but i still get up early and because of traffic i'm trying to get there on time so i got there and i'm just sitting in my car and i had my coffee i'm not clocked in now so that's the reason why i have like 15 minutes to tell you guys this i'm not going to take 15 minutes i hope anyway so i'm on my phone and just minding my own business doing my own thing and i got there maybe like 30 minutes early or 40 minutes and i'm just sitting in my car right so then i get a text message said to call one of the other managers it's urgent and I'm like oh crap what did I do so I'm gonna call her but I just grabbed my stuff to go into the building because I don't know I'm thinking well maybe I was supposed to go there early maybe I'm in trouble and maybe things I don't know so I got in and it was completely dark so I did not clock in yet because you know she's stressed don't clock in so I called the other manager and she said oh the big boss, <laughs> I have another big boss now. The big boss said, you guys can do your training from home, so don't go in today. Um, I'm already here. 
okay, well, you go ahead and stay there because we didn't have no computers in the training room. So a lot of them were going to be in our suite, which was not in compliance with, you know, the CDC guidelines of about six feet apart and stuff like that. So they told me since I was already there to stay home, I mean, to stay there and I'll probably have to share my computer with two other people. And I'm like, that's not okay. How are we gonna share a computer when we have to have headsets on? I don't know. So that was that. And then I texted my manager and I told her what was going on. And I said, let me read it to you guys. And I didn't text her. We have like um, a chat that we can message each other at work. And this lady, she tries to sound all big and bad and hard on the messages. But then when you see her in person, it's, Thank you, ladies. Oh, I was just wondering. I mean, it's none of that. Hold on, let me find it. Okay, so I said hi, and I said her name. I am here at admin. I did not clock in yet, but should I go home? Because the other manager said that we should do our training at home. So then she messaged back, and she said, Michelle, why are you there so early when I specifically asked you to start at 8 o'clock for today's training? You can stay there since you're already there. Then I said in all caps, I am not clocked in yet. Like I said in my first message, I was not planning on even coming into the building until eight, but I got a message to call the other manager. That's why I came in. I wanted to, I wanted to wring her neck. I wanted to jump to the computer and seriously just smack her. And then she goes, Okay, sounds good. You can clock in at 7.30 since you're already there. Y'all, my manager. I don't know if you heard that little ding, but that's the message system that we have to message. And I'm not even saying anything yet because I'm not on the clock. A little bit of a backstory. So one of my jobs before that I worked at, she was the manager there. And they actually fired her, which I wasn't there very long. So in the beginning, I'm like oh she's so sweet and you know why did they fire her and some of the girls the ladies that were there were very unprofessional and they were rude to her and talking about her behind her back which everyone talks about their managers behind her back she went her way and i actually left because the place got really toxic i left before they ended up firing me because they just like did a sweep of the whole department the whole dental department there and i'm like that company i Mm, yeah horrible horrible company so it is a horrible company there's a high turnover of staff no one ever stays there very long and if the person has made a year then that's very surprising so anyway and I'm sure you guys know a lot of places like that so with that said so she went on about her life I went on about my life I get a call and She's like, hey, Michelle, I kept your number. We're looking for dental billers and I knew you would be a good fit and blah, 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 whatever. So I actually applied and the company pays very well. And she told me that, you know, it's going to be part time remote. So anyway, I applied and I got on and in the beginning, I'm like, wow, she's nothing like what those ladies said at the other job. She's so sweet and she's this and oh my goodness you know y'all come to find out so what time is it not quite time yet she um she always says let me bring my time clock up though so i can clock in when it's time to clock in so she always says and she says this to this day she always says, I'm not a micromanager. I won't micromanage you. You know what your job is and you guys can go from there. Y'all, she is the hugest micromanager ever because let me tell you, she said it when I was at the other job and I actually thought she wasn't until I found out some things after she had left. And then at first I thought it wasn't true, but now I see that there's truth in all stories. Even when the person who's telling a story is off the chain. There's truth in it. Anyway, so now here, she has us do this time management sheet, which is not bad. So every day we have to log in, not, well not log in, but it's, you know, dated and then the time, like what do we do from what time to what time and stuff like that, right? Tell me that ain't micromanaging. So in the beginning, and oh, and she always says things, and then later on she'll change 
it around. So for the time management, we would put in lunch. And she was like, oh, you don't have to put your lunch time on there. I know what time you guys go to lunch, so you guys don't have to do that. So then there was a day where she was on one and she was like, okay, so you guys didn't put your lunch on there? And we were like, you told us we didn't have to. Oh no, you have to put your lunch on there. So, okay, whatever, just tell us to do it and we'll do it, you know? So we started writing our lunch on there. They started earlier than they did yesterday. So to be continued. Okay, so they're done with the dental portion of it and they're actually going over the medical. I don't know, I'm getting paranoid. Even though I'm on mute, I'm getting paranoid that they can hear me. I know they can't. So I'm just gonna make some coffee really quick while I talk to you guys. Um, because I just stepped away from my computer because they're on medical and it has nothing to do with us. So, yeah. Using my Wonder Woman mug today. So I don't even know the last thing I told you guys. I know I was telling you guys how micromanaging our manager is and how she claims not to be a micromanager. And we've all discussed it before, like us on the dental team. I'm not going to throw anyone else under the bus. I just know that we all feel the same way. And when she was at the other place, we had the same chat type of thing. And she actually asked the managers if she can have access to the other ladies like chats together. And they told her we can't do that. No, they told her we won't do that. Not that they can't do that. So here, the big boss thinks she's like the best thing ever that came across whatever. So I don't feel comfortable going to her about little things and neither does any of the other um, dental team. But the reason why we don't chat in there, we just text it to each other because I don't know, maybe here they gave her permission to see our personal, you know, chats to each other. I don't know. But um, she is a micromanager. She chimes in on everything. And anytime we have a question, like if I have a question for someone else that does a certain thing, I'm going to send it to them. So she wants us to send it in the main chat. And to me, it's like she chimes in on everything. Lady, it has nothing to do with you. And half the time, she's wrong. Literally half the time, she wrong. she's wrong. So it's like I go directly to the person, but she gets mad. But anyway, she's like, why are all these side conversations going on? That's why I made the chat so you guys could put it in on there. And at first, I thought it was because she had such a hard time at the other job. Everyone was talking about her, whatever. And, you know, poor thing and whatever no that's not the case the case she's a micromanager she wants to know everything that's going on and I get it a manager should know what's going on I do but it's the way it comes across number one number two if that has nothing to do with you then you don't need to chime in because like I said half the time she is wrong I don't know how she's gotten as far as she has because even this morning when she said something me and one of the other people were texting and like um that's not right and we're like yeah i know so we had to interject and say something there so yeah um and i know it may not sound like a big deal you guys will have to be in there with us to really get the full effect but yeah she's a micromanager but always claims that she's not and there was one time she called me in her office and she said, Oh, Michelle, how's aging going? And what aging is where you work on claims from like six months and past that need to be paid. So sometimes I'll work on that. And I don't do it every day because there's a lot of stuff to do. So I told her, I said, Oh, I haven't did aging in two days because you told me to do this or whatever. I know you haven't did it in two days. And I'm like, dude, if you... you you see what we put on the list, you know what we do and whatever, so why are you asking if you already know? And then our new system has a way, like a timestamp on like everything we do, everything we touch, whatever. And so when she found that out, she came alive in the training and she was like, oh wait, so let's go back. How did you do that again? And me and the other girl, we just looked at each other and rolled our eyes and we're like, okay, one more way to micromanage us. And it's... To me, it's like I'm doing my job and I'm not worried about her thinking, oh, I'm not doing anything. But it's still the fact that, that she treats us like children. And it's annoying. Very annoying, you guys. Anyway, 
let me put my creamer and my coffee and go back to work. Um, they're talking about medical right now. It has nothing to do with us. So I just took a break. So I'm not the only one she does this to. So I know it's not personal. But there is one lady that was on the dental team. She was on the medical side. She's going back to medical because of her. Because of our manager. So yeah, that says a lot. So y'all remember how this was by itself and lonely? Well, <laughs> it's funny because my manager, the one who I've been telling you guys about, over the weekend she went to Colorado and she found this in a little shop. So she brought us all back a shot glass. She did not know that I collect shot glasses, but yeah, I'll put it there. Um, doesn't change anything I said about her, but you know. I got a shot glass from Colorado. I usually like collecting them where places I've actually been, but it's cool.